After returning from Shetland in late July, I spent a few days reflecting upon why I keep returning to this archipelago year after year. Is it the incredible moody nature? Is it the love of traditional music? Or is it the kind, welcoming people? Is it the feeling of discovery, the feeling of walking outside the bonds, the feeling of adventure? This is the third time me and my wife Chasti visits Shetland. Hey. We're accompanied by my father-in-law Mons, who lived here on Shetland for one year back in 2015. Before we ventured across the pond, I decided that I was only going to film one of our days here on Shetland. This is our holiday after all, and I tend to lose myself completely whenever I start a new video. The day I decided to film was supposed to be the day we visited Fula, or Ultima Thule as the Romans called it. It is the most remote, permanently inhabited island in Great Britain. I think around 30 people live here give or take, and it features some of the most dramatic scenery you're likely to find. It would be a spectacular adventure. We were supposed to fly there, but due to unpredicting weather they could not guarantee a return trip the same day. And we would not be able to spend a few days there because of our tight time schedule. So we had to cancel. It happens. Bit disappointed. But what can you do? But that only means that we will have to return there another year. Since we cancelled our trip to Fula, I had to change up the plans a bit. I really wanted to make a video from Shetland nonetheless, but I didn't want to spend a whole day filming and committing myself to a video, so I decided to film some b-roll around what I thought would be my best images from Shetland. Then of course the orca thing happened and I got my video after all, but hey, now I have to. And now I present a video with my top 5 images from this island. Alright, let's get started. <laughs> First of all, these 5 images are not necessarily in the order 1 to 5, meaning the 5th image is not considered the best one. Now that that is out of the way, let me tell you about the first image. North on Shetland's mainland there is a lovely cafe called Brevik Cafe. It is located right by the extraordinary cliffs around the area known as Eshanes, one of my favorite places on Shetland. One afternoon we decided to have our lunch there, and as we were sitting there waiting for a meal, this subtle fog started to emerge, and that fog made a rock formation called the Drongs really stand out. I went out to the car and I grabbed my 100 to 300 mm lens and I zoomed all the way in. I have a micro four thirds camera, so on a full frame camera, 300 millimeters equals 600 millimeters. So it's a pretty heavy zoom in towards the drawings. I took the image and I think it came out really, really well. And I absolutely love the moodiness of it and the subtle blue tones. All in all, a great start. The second image I'm going to cover happened the very first day right after we left the airplane and got our rental car. We drove out to our favorite seal spotting beach and to a luck there were a few of the little rascals. Again I grabbed my longest lens and I started photographing the seals. I got a few really interesting images but this one in particular stood out to me. The reason why I think is the bending of the water which supplements the positioning and posing of this beautiful creature. And a little fun fact, I later used some of the footage I recorded of the swimming seals in my orca video. So I think this is Shetland's biggest waterfall. Beautiful rocks around it and beautiful header is covering it. Right now it's been a bit of a drought, so usually there's much, much more water. So this is a little bit of a Running Waters Shetland edition. I'm gonna grab a quick photograph from here.
Even though it was a tad disappointing to cancel our trip to Fula this morning, on Shetland there's always something to do. So instead we took our car and we drove to a beach and we, me and Chasti have been collecting gemstones for almost two hours and we found quite a few. They are really beautiful. It's called Agat and they're quite, they are quite hard to find but if you look long enough you're bound to find something eventually. A bit further down from the beach there is a very strange piece of land and the natives on Shetland call it the drinking horse and uh, <laughs> it's quite strange and also it's quite majestic and beautiful and very weird. But today I felt a bit cheekish. I've been trying to find an angle that makes it really look like a horse and this is what I've come up with. I've put on my macro lens. It's a fixed 60 millimeter macro lens but that means it's I think it means that's 120 millimeter in a medium format camera because it's a micro four third lens and I pointed it directly to these flowers here and behind those flowers is the drinking horse way off in the distance and I placed the mouth of the horse in between two buds of the flowers so right now it looks like it's drinking from a pond in the middle of a field with a small piece of rocks around it and it's uh, <laughs> it's a bit cheekish so let's take the image and see how it turns out I'm on top of Rona's Hill, Shetland's highest mountain. I'm not sure exactly how high it is. It's probably around 400, a bit over 400 meters, I think. Not sure. And it's it's very Norwegian. My father-in-law and, and just uh, we're talking about we're expecting to see reindeers any minute now because this is just like the Highlands in Norway. Very beautiful, and we've been so fortunate to be blessed with some low cloud coverage so the 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 mood right now is very very neat right now we're going towards a place called the long air and it, it's some huge cliffs on the edge of north Rö. my geography skills aren't exactly on top but what i'm hoping for is for those huge characteristic jagged cliffs that just gets up uh, from underneath the ocean that they're engulfed in some fog and a bit of wind and if that's the case and we're going black and white those images might turn out really more Dorish so that would be fantastic so let's head and check it out Remember I said I was hoping for some fog when we arrived at the cliffs? Well, I think we got a bit more than we hoped for. Because when we arrived at the long air, the visibility was pretty, pretty, pretty low. However, 
The constant wind sometimes moved the clouds along and we got some small glimpses of the long air. It was during one of these glimpses when I first saw a huge boulder all the way down on the beach. The waves crashing over it, soft fog at the top. There was something about this scene I really liked. Something that drew me in and made me stay. I took out my 100 to 300 mm On a full frame camera that's 200 to 600 mm And I waited for the fog to lift just a bit. Not much, because the softness to the image was something I wanted to preserve. And finally it lifted and I got my image. So with that image I conclude this video. I had a great time on Shetland and I definitely will make it to Fula Island one day. So yes, I will probably return a fourth time. If you enjoy my work here on YouTube and you want to support my journey further on, consider checking out my new website. I have added an option to buy prints from me and one of the images from Shetland is among the six available images I have for sale. Can you guess which one? I'll leave a link to the site down in the show notes. Consider following me on Instagram if you haven't. And as always, thank you so much for all the support down in the comment section each week. I really appreciate it. Take care of each other and I'll see you in about a week. Ha det fint, allesammen.